Many are looking to voices of their leaders to guide them through uncertain times, but one leader says they shouldn't be telling people how to feel during a time of hurt and pain. She spoke with WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams about her thoughts and the role leaders are playing at this time. And Chris is joining us live downtown with what he learned today. Chris. And Doug, I've heard from a handful of my political contacts, many of whom have been in those crowds so they could feel for themselves what's happening. One of them is the outspoken representative from District 41, Attica Scott. She found herself today at the scene of the shooting, questioning decisions that have been made in the last few days. And with the question on her mind that it's on the mind of so many, where do we go from here? Well, I'm uh, listening to people rather than me trying to come and tell them how they should be in pain and how they should respond to hurt and anger and frustration. Um, that that would be extremely inappropriate. 41st District Representative Attica Scott says she and her teenage daughter were hit by tear gas in a crowd she said was peacefully protesting. She has not heard from Governor Bashir after tweeting out what happened. She insists that it's past time for the mayor and governor to make an appearance to back demonstrators. The mayor spent moments at the shooting scene today before the crowd verbally turned on him and he left. Here's what he had to say last night about his observations. The streets of our city, I saw a diverse group of people gathered to honor Breonna Taylor and condemn racial injustice. People who recognize that this was never about black versus white, but right versus wrong. Governor Bashir called in the National Guard, something Representative Scott feels was a mistake. Today, he answered a question about whether his decision was allowing things to escalate. And trying to tell people that you care and that you're listening when you don't necessarily share um, their pain. Well, haven't experienced uh, their pain. I know it's hard, and I know at a time of anger and frustration, it's 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 hard for some to believe. But all I can do is to continue to say uh, that I want to be a partner uh, for that change. Representative Scott also told me that it was time for people to hold their elected representatives accountable, even if those officials are someone that they typically like. She pointed out that she appreciated that Congressman John Yarmouth reached out to her after her situation with the tear gas. She said she really appreciated that. Live in downtown Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.